Hello, and thank you for taking the time to watch the 2022 Governor's State Employee Medal of Valor Awards Ceremony. My name is Amy Tong, Secretary of the Government Operations Agency. I am very pleased to introduce Wei Crowfoot, Secretary, Natural Resources Agency, to read the citations for their state employees whose heroic acts and service are worthy of our celebration. Thank you. Hello. I am very proud to be part of this ceremony as we honor our state heroes. And I am pleased to present the citations for the California Department of Forestry and Fire Protection. I'm proud to first present a citation for a heroic act performed by Fire Captain Tom Crass and Fire Captain Ryan Wallace of the California Department of Forestry and Fire. On February 19th, 2021, at approximately 10.30 in the morning, Law enforcement received reports of shots fired at a gas station in the community of Three Rivers in Tulare County. Department of Forestry and Fire Protection officers Tom Crass and Brian Wallace responded to the scene. They spotted a vehicle matching that of the suspected shooter and initiated a traffic stop. Once stopped, the suspect began to shoot at the officers. The officers returned fire as the suspect drove off. Officers Crass and Wallace immediately pursued the suspect. Multiple law enforcement officers also joined in the pursuit. The suspect drove head on into highway traffic, recklessly shooting at officers. The suspect drove into an orchard, crashing into several trees before fleeing on foot. While a perimeter was being established, additional shots were heard near the suspect's crash vehicle. Both officers discovered a California Highway Patrol officer had been ambushed and shot. Placing themselves between the downed officer and the suspect a few rows of tree away, a gunfight ensued. Once the suspect became incapacitated and taken into custody, officers Crass and Wallace began to administer care to the injured CHP officer until transported via helicopter to a trauma center. With no regard for their own safety, officers Crass and Wallace went above and beyond the call of duty. The state of California takes great pride in presenting the gold medals of valor to Department of Forestry and Fire Protection Officer Tom Crass and Officer Ryan Wallace. I'd next like to provide a citation for a heroic act performed by fire apparatus engineers Omar Desiderio and Tyler Williams of the California Department of Forestry and Fire Protection. In the early hours of the morning on October 12, 2020, Department of Forestry and Fire Protection fire apparatus engineer Tyler Williams and fire apparatus engineer Omar Desiderio and others were dispatched to a two-story building engulfed in flames in the mountain community of Pine Cove. Upon arrival, fire department personnel encountered flames throughout the first story, overcoming the second story and burning through the roof. One victim was on the roof frantically calling for help with a second victim unconscious and trapped inside a second story bedroom. An immediate rescue of the trapped residents was needed. Unable to make access to the first floor, engineers Williams and engineer Desiderio leaped into action without direction and placed a ladder to the second story to gain access. They broke open the bedroom window and dove headfirst into the burning room without hose lines. Implementing a left-hand search, they located the unconscious victim under heavy fire and smoke conditions. Engineer Williams and engineer Desiderio dragged the victim through the bedroom window with heavy fire rolling over them. The victim was flown by air ambulance to a burn center with severe injuries, but after treatment for third degree burns, she survived and fully recovered. With no regard for their own safety, fire apparatus engineers Desiderio and Williams went above and beyond the call of duty. The state of California takes great pride in presenting the gold medals of valor to Department of Forestry and Fire Protection fire apparatus engineers, Omar Desiderio and Tyler Williams. Next, I'm proud to present a citation for a heroic act performed by Fire Captain Robert Rubalcava and Fire Apparatus Engineer Alfonso Moreno of the California Department of Forestry and Fire Protection. On the morning of December 8, 2020, Department of Forestry and Fire Protection Fire Apparatus Engineer Alfonso or Al Moreno and Fire Captain Robert Rubalcava responded to a house fire in Indio. As the fire intensified, conditions quickly deteriorated and all firefighters were ordered to evacuate the building. 
During the retreat, there was a partial roof collapse and other hostile fire events that separated the firefighters from each other and their hose line. Engineer Moreno heard a mayday call over the radio. Realizing a missing firefighter was still inside of the building, he returned into the burning structure to assist in the rescue. Engineer Moreno entered the home under extremely heavy fire conditions. He quickly located the trapped firefighter who was in severe distress, thrashing about in the den, disoriented. Engineer Moreno wrestled the injured, fi injured firefighter to the floor and tried to orient him to the hose line and out to safety. During the next several moments of confusion, an additional firefighter came to assist in the rescue. Due to the extreme fire conditions, Engineer Moreno was mistaken for the missing firefighter and was forcibly removed from the building. Engineer Moreno was drug out of the building and into the front yard where he was able to identify that he was not the missing firefighter. Engineer Moreno quickly situated his gear, saw that he was injured, but still charged back toward the, towards the structure to assist the rescue. Captain Rubalcava made his way to the, to the front of the building to assist in the rescue as well. Although there were extreme fire conditions, Captain Rubalcava entered the building to find the missing firefighter. Extreme temperatures initially pushed him back outside, but he re-entered the building where he found the missing firefighter in the den. As the fire continued to rage, Captain Rubalcava noted a flashover fire event was moments away. He shielded the firefighter with his body and personal protective equipment. Captain Rubalcava then dragged the firefighter to the front door where others assisted in reviving the firefighter. The firefighter was transported to a nearby burn center. With no regard for their own safety, Fire Captain Rubalcava and Engineer Alfonso Moreno went above and beyond the call of duty. The state of California takes great pride in presenting the Gold Medal of Valor to Department of Forestry and Fire Protection Captain Robert Rubalcava and the Silver Medal of Valor to Fire Apparatus Engineer Alfonso Moreno. I'd now like to provide a citation for a heroic act performed by Fire Captain Eric Ayers of the California Department of Forestry and Fire Protection. On June 9, 2021, just after noon, Fire Captain Eric Ayers was traveling with his daughter south of Grass Valley. Captain Ayers came upon a major car accident with a large SUV overturned with major front end damage. He stopped to help and noticed a fire under the engine compartment as well as a person trapped in the driver's seat. Captain Ayers told his daughter to collect fire extinguishers and cutting tools from passing cars. The trapped driver could not be reached through the passenger doors or the sunroof as the fire engulfed the front of the vehicle and began spreading into the passenger compartment. Entering through the rear of the vehicle, Captain Ayers tried to remove the driver but was trapped by the driver's seatbelt. As the heat and smoke forced him back out of the vehicle, he found his daughter had collected three fire extinguishers to put out the flames. Unfortunately, they were not enough. With the help of additional off-duty firefighter and a passing ambulance staff, Captain Ayers attempted to free the driver through the sunroof, to no avail. Another passing motorist gave Captain Ayers a, a reciprocating saw that he used to expand the sunroof. But it was not until the first responding fire engine arrived that the driver was finally freed and the fire extinguished. The driver was admitted to UC Davis Medical Center burn unit with extensive injuries. Without Captain Ayers, his daughter, and others at the scene, the driver would not have survived. With no regard for his own safety, Captain Ayers went above and beyond the call of duty. The state of California takes great pride in presenting the Gold Medal of Valor to Department of Forestry and Fire Protection Fire Captain Eric Ayers. Next, I'm pleased to offer a citation for a heroic service performed by communications operator Barbara Losher of the California Department of Forestry and Fire Protection. On December 18th, 2020, while traveling home from a 12-hour duty shift at the Emergency Communication Center in San Bernardino, off-duty Department of Forestry and Fire Protection's communications operator Barbara Losher found herself at the scene of a major traffic collision in Crestline, California. There were two vehicles, one which was on fire and the other which contained an unconscious passenger. Ms. Losher began administering CPR after determining the unconscious passenger was not breathing until on-duty first responders arrived at the scene. 
the driver of the other vehicle attempted to flee the scene. Ms. Losher leveraged her experience as a former California Highway Patrol communications operator to successfully detain the driver until police officers arrived. With no regard for her own safety, Ms. Losher went above and beyond the call of duty. The state of California takes great pride in presenting the Silver Medal of Valor to Department of Forestry and Fire Protection communications operator Barbara Losher. Lastly, I'm proud to present a citation for a heroic act performed by fire apparatus engineer Martin Newman and firefighters Jared Gatro and Corey Souza with the California Department of Forestry and Fire Protection. Around noon on August 18th, 2021, the Cache Fire ignited on the east side of Clear Lake in the Dam Road area. Weather for the day showed red flag conditions with high temperatures, low humidity, and winds between 10 and 20 miles per hour. By one o'clock in the afternoon, while the Department of Forestry and Fire Protection firefighters were working to evacuate one of two trailer parks, the fire made a rapid push south into the trailer park, trapping firefighters and residents. The access road had become blocked. Firefighters worked with a tractor operator to break through a fence to allow trapped individuals a way to escape. Once the fire crew established a way out, a woman was spotted engulfed in flames coming from the area of the trailer park where other individuals had just fled. Cal Fire apparatus engineer Martin Newman with firefighters Corey Souza and Jared Gatro ran back into the fire. With the help of firefighters Souza and Gatro, FAE Newman hoisted the victim onto his shoulder and ran 100 feet to safety. The victim would eventually receive treatment at the UC Davis Burn Center. With no regard for their own safety, Mr. Newman, Mr. Gatro, and Mr. Souza went above and beyond the call of duty. The state of California takes great pride in presenting the Gold Medal of Valor to Department of Forestry and Fire Protection, Fire Apparatus Engineer Martin Newman, and the Silver Medals of Valor to Firefighters Corey Sousa and Jared Gatro. Presenting these citations has been my honor. To each and every one of you, thank you for your heroism.